Welcome back to the Anarchy Garage and today I'm going to be carrying on with the E-Type Revenge build and specifically I'm going to be getting on with the bodywork and start getting rid of some of this rust, finishing off the sills and getting some major fabrication done to get the structure and the strength back into the E-Type. Now if you're not familiar with this build, we're actually putting an F-Type engine and running gear into this car and it's also having a massive custom made body kit to go with the car as well. So what I'm going to do first is finish it off, attaching this sill on, and then start doing some repairs around the body work. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating. I'm feeding this demon. Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stand strong, need to move on To be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on and Time to stay strong, need to move on To be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Taste on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up This how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff I'm not the one, mess with me, come down with none, cause I'm so done, you had your fun And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun, cause I got a full clip, put your name on it But I'ma let you slide, cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Now the rear quarter all finished and got some strength in it as well, joining the rear part of the driver's sill to the car. Now you may have noticed that I'm actually not using a lot of panels on this car at this point. So I've got sills, inner and outer, and the floors, and that gives me the exact shape of the car. So I'm not trying to alter that. But what I am doing is using a lot of flat steel and making the panels myself because it means that I could smooth this car off to make it look more like the render. For instance, there is a little join across here and there is a panel that you can buy that will replicate that. However, I don't want the join there. So what I'm doing is matching up, getting the shape of it in flat steel and then welding it together. That will give me a super sleek look on the front. That continued to here. So I've now put all of the strength back into this area. I'm gonna to start to get some primer in there and then I'm going to get this last panel over here to finish off this front part of the bulkhead.
Right, so the tool that you've just seen me using is called a shrinker stretcher and it does what it says on the tin really. You can either stretch or you can shrink the metal. So that means that I could either pull this curve in or stretch it out. So with this piece, it's actually incredibly hard to make without something like that. Um, making it by hand would take a long time and you may even have to cut it, but that tool works very quickly and easily. So I've replicated the front of the bulkhead just here. So that's now exactly the same. So all I've got to do is I'll be cutting the top off this. I left myself a bit of extra meat because I've got the curve slightly wrong. I have just move up to the upper part as well. So it's always worth doing that. So what I'll do is cut it off, marry it up to there, weld this piece in, and then the outer skin can go on. have it that is the front part of the bulkhead done on the passenger side as well and joined all the way back down into the sill i am honestly absolutely chuffed with how this has come out and as well we've started to build up this inner section of door frame and we've got a smooth panel on the front as well so it's really moving forwards with the fabrication that is now all four corners joined on to the sills so the next episode with this car, I'll be carrying on inside doing the patchwork on the inner part of the sill as well. But for now, that is it for this episode of the Anarchy Garage. Thank you for watching. See you next time.